Well, this is going to be a tutorial on how to paint your BB gun. And uh, these are all the tools you're going to need. Or items, whatever. Um, uh, you need something to take your gun apart with. In my case, I need a screwdriver and a pair of pliers. It doesn't matter which type. Um, and then you're going to need your paint. Um, whatever colors you want. Um, your mask or respirator. Um, I highly recommend this. In fact, uh, I don't recommend it. I, I put on the needed list because I don't want people like getting lung cancer because they don't have one of these. But, um, one of these things, a respirator, goggles, that's just recommended. And so are a pair of gloves. That's also recommended. Um, that's just what I use. Uh, you can get all these anywhere, basically. Oh, yeah. Um, you will also need... Um, well, if you're going to be doing this outside, you don't need it. But if you're like me, and you're like inside of a shed-like thing, I like this portable fan thing. Um, I'll show you my setup later. And... Uh, an optional thing is this fan, or a small other fan, oh god, a small fan to make it uh, dry faster. And of course your BB gun, whatever. This is the type of BB gun I will be um, coloring. Um, it's the, the daisy, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's a really good gun. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I know it's pink, but I don't care, because it's, it doesn't matter. But yeah, this is the type of BB gun I'll be taking, uh, the, not taking apart, I'll be coloring. And I guess I'll show you how to do that. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is uh, take off the parts that you want to be coloring. In my case, it's the pink parts. But, um, so, uh... I'll just get started. Um, basically, you just remove every single screw that you find. And maybe one of these hook on things. Now, if your gun has something that looks kind of like this, where like one side is screw and the other side is something holding it in that's where you're going to need some pliers Ow. but that's when you're going to need some pliers and oh god so you want to um you're going to want to uh, grab this whatever is holding down the part that you want to color in my case it's just this screw right here but you're going to want to uh, try and uh, just take off that part. Um, I'm gonna start it. Alright, now that you have disassembled the parts that you want to color on your gun, um, and if you're working like in a garage or shack like me, um, then you want to open up your windows and put a fan on them. So I'll show you what I mean. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh God. All right. So get your fan. Well, first you open up your windows. So like, for example, 
in my in this case, my fan blows this way. I want it to be facing this way, not this way, because that's bad for your health. So put it on there, like that. So now, whenever all the gases go flying everywhere, instead of being floating around you and you sucking them in, or being blown in your face and you have paint all over you, they'll just like fly out, like that. That's why my fan is so dirty. Alright, now roll your sleeves up and get your gloves on because, you know, oh yeah, and your respirators because you don't want to like get lung cancer or anything. So yeah, get everything out, put your gloves on if you want to, and uh, I'll get my other gloves because I don't want any of my hands being dirty. So yeah, um, get your gloves on, roll your sleeves off, and then take off your cap, shake your can really hard. So that's basically how you do it, and the end result should look like this. Um, hope you like it, uh, and uh, thanks for watching.